Why are you going, soldier? Oh, drop me off anywhere at all. Novelty for me to be picked up. How's that, soldier? I used to hike for a living in New York before I went in the Army. Own my own cab. Oh, I see. What's your name? Jim. What's yours? Granny. Was it fun driving the cab? Oh, I don't know. Pretty rugged. But I didn't mind so much because I had an objective. An objective? What's an objective? That's something you're willing to work real hard for. Mine was a farm in Iowa. You must miss your folks. Yeah, I would if I hadn't. You see, I was raised an orphan. I guess the only thing I left home grieving for me was a 1934 Buick. Oh, it's funny, I'm really beginning to miss that old jalopy. I had to practically give it away. I know just how you feel. I had to give away my dog, too. Well, I guess we all have to give up something in the war to make the enemy give up. and get your dog. You're holding up traffic. Come on. Come on. But Mr. this dog. Well, take him and get him out of here now. Hurry it up. Okay, but he, but he ain't mine. Oh, now run along. All right, let's get this traffic out of here. All right, you move on to the little back. You little mutton, you might have got killed. Moving into apartment B, I'm Mrs. Hamilton. Glad to meet you, ma'am. I'm Mr. Adams. Oh, yes. Well, uh, Mr. Adams, will you please take the things from the back seat? Let me help you, Papa. I'm used to giving Dorman a hand. Oh, I ain't one of the family. I'm just a guest they picked up. And a very welcome one. I'm glad we have a place to invite them to. Yes, yeah. I know just how you feel. I figure I'm kind of lucky to find a place here myself. <laughs> Seeing as it ain't heavy. <laughs> Hello, Kip. Hello, Gramps. What you got there? Nothing, nothing, just something. Well, get yourself a glass of milk. Okay, Gramps. Hiccups. What you got? Nothing. What's your hurry? I got to be going. Can I go with you? No, you see, Come I... Come on, Gwenny, your mother wants it. Oh, all right. <laughs> Your 
mother invited me to stay over for dinner. Are you sure you didn't have something to do with that invitation? Of course, I like soldiers. You like soldiers, huh? I want to speak to him. Now, Mrs. Foster, he's not here now. Oh. Well, the moment he comes in, you tell him to come right up to see me. Yes, ma'am. So, <coughs> don't want to get us in trouble? That old thing won't hurt you. Not a real cat. Oh, God. I almost forgot. I bet you're hungry, huh? See what we got. your place lots better than ours. We don't have nice pipes and things. I bet you and me could have lots of fun down here. Maybe, but me and Gramps just moved in too, and we're not ready for company yet. Hmm. Hmm. How do you suppose this milk got there? I... I spilled it, that's how. Now please get out of here. What are you doing? Nothing. What's your name? Is it Kip? If you know, what do you ask for? Kip, that's nice. Mine's Gwendolyn, and I hate it. I know a lot better name for you. It's Button. You mean short for cute as a button? No. Button. Short for Buttonski. Mm. Well. Okay, I'll let you call me Button if you want to. Hmm. You don't know how to take a hint, do you? But a funny uniform. It ain't 
he's a funny. To my gramps when he was a rough rider. Is this your dad and mummy? Yes. They're nice. Where are they? They, they aren't here anymore. Don't you even have any brothers or sisters? No. Why do you have to ask so many blameful questions anyway? I've got lots of things I'm supposed to do. Won't you please go home? What's in here? Nothing. That's Gramps' room. You keep out of that. Say, listen. I know what you're hiding. Where is it? Where? Is what? <laughs> you know what. And if you don't... Yes, I want to talk to you about that leaky faucet. Yes. Get out now, quick. Okay. Can you show me your dog later, I promise? I didn't say I had a dog. Will you show it to me? Yes, tomorrow. You know why I'm leaving for these tomorrow? And I won't sleep a week for the next six months if I have to worry about all of my fine rugs being ruined. But I told you yesterday, Mrs. It was just yesterday. Now, but don't you contradict me. It was two days ago. Cross your heart. It cross my heart, but don't you dare tell anyone. What do you think I am, a devil, Bale? Oh, excuse <laughs> But where's your short handed now? I'm the janitor and the doorman and oh, the engineer. Oh, not yet. If that leak is not fixed today, I shall call up Mr. Stone and complain about you. But Mrs. is positive. Oh, man can only do so much. Doggone monkey suit. This ain't no job for me. I'll get some hot water for your feet, Grams. If it wasn't that I needed a place for me and you to live, I'd have told her a thing or two. See, that's too hot, Grams. No, it's just about right. <sighs> Every time when Mama was out, the cake is on the table. Take the sticky uh, wait. sucker. Listen. Did you hear something? Every time when Mama goes off, the cat gets on the table. Take a step. Every time when Mama goes off, the cat gets on the table. Stop! Stop! Hey, look at this dog. Come here, you little mutt. Now, don't you know better than to bring that dog into this house? Now, get him out. But, Gramps, he hasn't got any home. You can't keep him. Rules is rules, whether you like it or not. I want to spoil everything, you must. I wanted Jim to like you. Now look what you did. Gee, I wish I never saw you. But, Grimes, we wouldn't want him to catch cold and die, would we? That's what he'd do if we put him out all night. Feel how soft his ears are, Graham. Hold him. I'll get their slippers. All right. Found what? My lucky charm. The one 
one Dad gave me before he... Yeah, I know, I know. I lost it and he found it. He's bringing a photograph. He's going to be lucky for us. You'll see. Yep. You've got to learn that life ain't always easy. Old folks know it and so do dogs. And you've got to learn it sooner or later. I understand, Gramps. But can I keep him just for tonight? Well, all right. But nice as he is, you'll have to get him out early in the morning. I cheat, Gramps. It's time for breakfast. That's the right smart name. Hello, boy, Lucky. Well, you may as well face it, Kip. He's got to go. Now eat your breakfast. I just had another call from Mrs. Foster about her faucet. She gets fussy like this every year before she leaves. Will you go up and take care of that thing? I fixed it already. I can't work all day for one tenant. I got to swab this, then I got to go out and clean the sidewalks. And I guess... Mrs. Adams, I have four other apartment houses to take care of. Complaints all day long. No time to listen to yours. Now, if you feel this job is too much for a man of your age, I'm afraid I'll have to... Lucky, Lucky! Lucky, Lucky! How'd that dog get in here? He's just a stray pup that comes around it. Where'd he come from? He... he well, get him out of here. Rats. What? He could chase rats and things. Rats? Here? No, no, no. There are no rats here. Don't you worry, Mr. Stone. That'll be your worry, not mine, if I find one rat in the Langham Arms. Now, give me that dog and I'll turn him over to the pound. No, no, I won't. I... I mean, I'm going to find him a home. Hi, Clams. until I could find him a home. Oh, he's darling. I named him. You named him. I've already named him. His name's Lucky. Lucky. Oh, that's a nice name. We've just got to find a way to keep him. But we can't. You know they won't let us. <laughs> Come on. They're an awful nuisance. They don't let you do things. They give me a pain. Me too. Dogs are wonderful things to have around. But how are we going to keep him? Oh? I get ideas. If you're so smart. Let's see you think of something. Let's see ya. 
Hey, Pop, did you see which way the little Hamilton girl went? Well, now, let me see. Oh, she went across the street and into the park over there. Thanks. Hey, ain't this a Juniperus torellosa? I don't know. To me, it's just an ivy. Well, I read about agricultural stuff all the time. And I'm telling you, this is a Juniperus torellosa. <laughs> now, Mommy, it's awfully hard to get around sometimes. But when it comes to my daddy or any other man, they're a cinch. You know, I bet I could even fix things up with your grandfather and Mr. Stone. How? Oh, just by talking and being nice and maybe crying a little. You'll see. You mean you think you could fix it so as I could keep the puppy? Maybe? Sure, but not unless... Unless what? Unless I get half of him. Half? Nothing to when I found him, didn't I? Okay, me. I've got to go to school. I knew you'd give in. All right, but only half of a half. How much is half of a half? Oh, a lot. Okay, a deal. Shake. Hi, Gwenny. Oh, hello, Jim. I was looking for you, Gwenny, to say goodbye before I went back to camp. Jim, this is Kip. Hiya, Kip. Hiya, Jim. And this is our dog, Lucky. Hiya, Lucky. And we've changed my name to Button. All right, Button. <laughs> Say, shouldn't you kids be going to school? Yes, but we've got to decide something about a dog first. Jim, is it true that dogs carry germs? Well, yeah, I guess so. But no more than some people. For instance, a guy on our block, his uncle, he was a butcher, sneezed on a dog, and in only ten days, the dog was dead. The dog died dead? Yeah, he had flu at the time. This guy's uncle. What kind of a dog was it? Mm, I don't know exactly. Uh, I only knew the guy. One more thing, Jim. You don't think it's right not to let a child have a dog, do you? Oh, uh, no. I don't think it's right. And answer me this. If something is not allowed in an apartment house, is it all right for it to be on the apartment house? On? On the roof. That's a problem. Let me see. And will you do it? Do what? Make him up on the roof. Will you, Jim? Till we can fix things up with Mr. Stone. Who's he? The house manager. Well, a military man can't afford to take any chances. I better look it up in my little book. Anything here against it. But how am I going to sneak them in? In your bag. On my clean shirt and things. <laughs> well, okay. Pooch, looks like you're my first dangerous mission. <laughs> now, you kids better be going along to school, otherwise you'll grow up to be like me. Semi-educated. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Will you come again soon? Will you promise? Well, it's up to the high command, Button. But I'll sure try to. I love you, Jim. <laughs> Goodbye, Jim. Bye, Jim. Goodbye. Don't worry, Pooch. They'll be back soon. I'm going to smuggle you in. You're contraband. How that is. It's terrible when you lose the grown ups you love. Button, do you know what I'll do? I'll give you a whole half of Lucky. Really, Kip? Oh, that's super. And you know what I'll do? I'll give you a whole half of my soldier. But you can't do that. He doesn't belong to you. Why not? When you love someone, they belong to you. 
And last night he called me sister, so that's like being my brother. And you can have half of him. Gee, think of that. Half of a brother that's in the war. Hey, soldier. I thought you'd left. Yes, sir, I did, didn't I? But uh, I left my toothbrush upstairs. Well, leave your bag with me. I'll take care of it. Oh, thanks, but uh, I I'm very finicky. I got like a phobia. I always like to put the toothbrush in the suitcase myself. Yes, ma'am. Koenig's nursery said they'd be here and have those things out within the hour. Will you see who that is, please? Yes, ma'am. Hello, Adams. Ah, good afternoon, Mrs. Foster. Mr. Stone. I just dropped by to wish you a pleasant trip and to ask you if everything is all right. Oh, thank you, Mr. Stone. I do hope you don't mind my stealing your doorman to cover up my furniture. Not at all, not at all. Anything to help out. Is that your taxi waiting outside? Oh, it must be. Oh, dear. Uh, would you mind putting that off for a moment and carry my bags to the cab? Yes. And I want everything in readiness. Just as you say, Mrs. Foster. I shall be back for my lecture to him. <coughs> oh, Mrs. Foster, I'm so sorry. Well, I should think you would be. How did that dog get back here? I don't know, sir. I'll have a messenger boy come up and take him to the pound right away. Mrs. Foster, I can't tell you. Oh, come on, I... there isn't time to talk about it now. Oh, Janitor, when you finish covering up the furniture and moving out the plants, be sure and lock up carefully. Give me that mutt. That's a nice dog you've got there. Well, if you like them, you can have them. Oh, yeah, I've got a little boy who'd love it. Well, they don't belong to nobody. Sure, go ahead. Oh, thanks, honey. Thanks, oh, that's all right. Honey. find him here. You got me in a peck of trouble. That puppy dirted Mrs. Foster's dress. And worse, you lied to me. Come here. There. That will learn you not to lie. Now, pick up that mess and come down. You're all alike and grown-ups. You don't understand anything, even when you're old. What did you do with him? Mr. Stone took him. Where to? Somebody that'll take care of him. You're not telling me the truth. You let Mr. Stone take him to be killed. Oh, gee, you're alive. 
How'd you get away? Kip, it's just me, Kip. Come on out. Nobody's looking. If Grom sent you to find me and tell me to come home, I won't. You can go right back and tell him. I won't. Come on out, Kip. We're going to stay right here till we die. Now listen, Kip. I've got a super idea. Honest, I have. Listen. <laughs> in the garden. Do you think Ruggie can push that door open and get into the other rooms? Oh, he's not strong enough. He's only a puppy. Say, we gotta get out of here. Gramps will be looking for me. Look here. Here's the box for Lucky. You're lucky, you're lucky. Look here. Lucky getting in bed all by himself. Isn't he smart? Uh-huh. Good night, my little baby. Sleep tight. He ain't a baby. He's a dog. Here's your mouse, Lucky. Now, don't you bark at nothing. Nation, you've been? Just, just walking around. Well, sit down. Wait! Oh, swell, Grams. Kit, you and me agreed we'd always talk matters over man to man. And I guess I didn't help matters much by flying off the handle. Oh, that's all right, Grams. Can I have another weenie, Gramps? Gee, you must be hungry. Ask him for another before you finish the first. Hey, Gramps. How big do you suppose like we would grow if we kept him? Well, now that's not easy to say. You see, some breeds grow faster than others. And it's, it's hard to tell what breed Lucky was. I don't know 
what we'll do with you. Come on. Let's go up on the roof. All right, but first I've got to go and let Mummy know I'm home from school. Oh, hello, Chip. Look who I found waiting for us. Hiya, Chip. Hiya, pal. What do you got there, a mountain lion? No, it's still lucky. Grown up. I've certainly been disappointed you didn't come sooner. Me too, but you know the army. And you're a corporal now. Yeah, but I haven't let rank go to my head. I've been to camps all over the country since I seen you last. You know where I'm winding up? In the motor pool of the canine service. Motor pool? Canine service? What does that mean? Motor pool, I drive a truck. Canine is a fancy name for dogs. In other words, I'm going to the dogs in the army. You mean they have dog soldiers? Sure, for sentry duty messages and stuff. Hey, you know, he's really developed into an excellent mutt. We sneak him down to the park for exercise. You do, huh? Where do you keep him up here? Come here. Shall we tell him? He's awful nice. Not like most grown-ups, but he is one. He might find some silly reason for not liking it. You know how they are. I guess we better not tell him. We're awful sorry, Jim. But we can't tell it's a secret. Well, that's okay. I understand. If you tell anybody a secret, it ain't a secret no more. <clears throat> you almost forgot. I picked up a couple of presents for you on my travels. Here. Perfume for you, beautiful. And a jeep for you, pal. Gee, thanks, Jim. Of course, it ain't as big as a regular jeep, but it, it's based on the same principle. The man told me that I came from Paris, France. Oh, Jim. It's super. Smell. Jim, would you give us another special present, a little one? Well, that depends. I promised Kip I'd get you to play the harmonica for him. I'm glad you asked me. I like it myself. Have you got a favorite number? What is it? I like Farmers in the Dale. Me too. Solid. The farmer in the dale, the farmer in the dale, I'm on the dairy, oh, the farmer in the dale. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the concert. <laughs> Gee, Jim, you play good. Uh, what did I tell you? Gee, Jim, I wish you would come and stay with us tonight. But he can't. He told Mommy he'd stay with us whenever he came. But half of him belongs to me. You promised. We each own half of you. How do you like that? I'm cut two ways, subdivided. <laughs> I'm beginning to understand now how that dog feels. Will you, Jim? Will you stay with me tonight? Well, I'd like to, but I promised Button for tonight. Next time I'll stay with you. Okay, Button? All right, Jim. Don't you think it's about time you paid your respective families a visit? Yes. I guess you better take Lucky back to... A secret's a secret. I didn't hear nothing. Let's peek down and see if the coast is clear. Come on. Okay, sit. come on. this open window, Ben. Ah, uh, nobody just forgot to close it. Crummy joint, ain't it? You said it. Let's get out of here.
sorry I find you here. Morning, Corporal. Up kind of early. Yeah, some sort of a racket that disturbed my slumber. Yeah, the manager phoned, bawled me out. Tenants complained about a wild party. Just a couple of drunks in the alley. Sorry to disturb you. Oh, it was nothing. I'm used to being rudely awakened at the crack of dawn. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm an old army man myself. Last one? No, no, no. I was with Teddy Roosevelt's Rough Riders in 1898. Oh. I was a sergeant. I stayed in the city, helped my son with the hardware store until he and Kip's mother died. I never did get back to the farm. The farm? Are you a farmer? Born and raised on my father's farm. I guess that would have been mine now if I'd gone back. Want to know something, Pop? But you got to promise not to laugh. No. I'm a farmer, too. No. Yeah. That is, um, I got a down payment on a farm in Iowa. Well, that ain't nothing to laugh at. That's something to look forward to. But it was burglars. I saw them with my own eyes. You know grown-ups, and you know what they'll say. Another big sin. Say what? Sure, and we'd be in jail for maybe 20 years. Guess we'd better think of something else. It's good it's Saturday and we don't have to go to school. I'll say. Just give me a little time and I'll get an idea. Gosh, wouldn't be so good if they found us in the middle of this. I'll sneak Lucky down the back stairs and meet you. You know where. I'll finish picking up the silver. Meet you in five minutes. Come on, Lucky. Did you think of something? No. Well, I did. What? Well, I don't know if you and Lucky will like it or not, but it's the only thing we can do. What is this? Well, last night at dinner, I heard Jim telling Daddy about how the Army gets dogs. You take them to a place called Dogs for Defense. Well, what's that got to do with Lucky? Well, that's my idea. Lucky could join the Army, and then he'd have a home with Jim. Jim said that. No, I didn't get a chance to talk to him. He's gone sightseeing. Besides, I wanted to talk it over with you first. Well, he might get hurt. We can go over and take a look at Dogs for Defense. We don't have to give Lucky to him if we don't want to. Well, all right. Take care of who? What's the matter? Jim, we've given Lucky to dogs for defense. You have? Well, that's very patriotic. I'm proud of you kids. But, Jim, he's liable to get hurt. Well, everybody's liable to get hurt in a the war. There's lots of little kids like you over there, right in the middle of it, getting terrible hurt. And Lucky's going to help them. Don't you think that if Lucky knew about those kids, he'd say, sure, I want to go. Is that why you want to go, Jim? I guess so. I don't like to see nobody getting hurt. Then maybe you could go with Lucky. Well, right now they got me driving a truck. I'd like to be a trainer, but, but the Army knows what it's doing. You do the job they give you. Still, it's a possibility. Yep, it's definitely something to work on. Well, I'd better be going now, otherwise they'll mock me A-W-O-L. What's A-W-O-L? That's Army talk for playing hooky with severe consequences. Jim... Will you try to be with Lucky? Promise? Cross your heart. I promise. All right, driver, any of them get the car sick? That's always obvious, Sergeant. Come on, Cuddles. We're going to be pals, I hope. 
You new here? Yeah, yeah. I just got transferred. Say, are you a trainer? That's right. Gee. What are you gonna do with that? You mean fancy pants here? He's okay. These French poodles are among the best we got. Here, take him away, Joe. Well, look at this sad face, Mutz. Looks like he lost his best friend, don't he now? Yeah, maybe he has. Hiya, Lucky. Feeling any better? What's the matter? Don't you know me no more? Don't worry, Lucky. You'll be all right. Hey, Corporal, what's with you in here? He's a friend of a couple of friends of mine. Good dog. The vets will find out. The dog's got to take the physical before we trainers get him. What do you want, Corporal? I'm waiting for the Colonel, sir. Do you mind if I stand around and watch, sir? No, not at all. Thank you, sir. Come on, boy, now. All right, Joe, take him away. Come on, boy. Get down. Come on, boy. Up you go. Now get down. Get down. Right down. He's a pretty strong dog, ain't he, sir? Well, we'll see. Any rejects today, Joe? No, sir. They're all healthy specimens. Corporal Allen reporting with permission of Lieutenant Miller, sir. At ease, Corporal. What's on your mind? Sir, I was told to ask you about this. What I want to know is, how do I get transferred from the motor pool to dog training, sir? You mean you want to be a dog trainer? Yes, sir. Just like that? Oh, no, sir. I know there are a lot of preliminaries first, things I gotta know, but I think I'd be pretty good at it, sir. I'll take it under consideration. Make out your transfer application and I'll sign it. Dynamite! I beg your pardon, sir. I mean, thank you, sir. Remember, I can't make any promises. In the meantime, keep your eye on what a crack trainer like Sergeant Ross is doing. That's all, Corporal. Thank you, sir. Chuck. Oh, hello, Jim. How's he making out? Not so good. Down lucky. That homesick pussy of his is breaking my heart. Listen, Lucky. I want to go home to Mama just as much as you do, but we can't, see? Do you think you'll get over it? You better get started quick. If they don't get over homesickness in two weeks, you can count them out. Well, can I talk to them? No, that's the first thing you got to learn. No one talks to a dog except the trainer who handles them. It mixes them up. Okay, Lucky. Now do what the nice man says. Down. Oh, what's the use? The mutt's impossible. Oh, I'll give him a break. Maybe he's off his feet today. Oh, okay. I'll give him another chance. Well, look at our Jim. <laughs> right into his sugar. Yeah, you ought to see this little girl. She's beautiful. Well, kids, I am still waiting for my transfer to be a trainer. And I sure hope I get it. Your dog. Lucky is hey, Jim. 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 What is it, Grant? I got mail for you. For me? For both of you. I'll read it to you. Dear Kip and Button. Well, kids, I am still waiting for my transfer to be a trainer. And I sure hope I get it. Your dog, Lucky, is in good shape. I see him every day. He is a little homesick, but I am positive he will make a good K... canine soldier, which is my objective, too. Your friend, Corporal Jim Allen. Hooray! Now, there's one thing I want to find out. How in the dickens did you ever find that dog again? I... I guess he just smelled and smelled till he found us. 
And Jim, we want you to know we've been worried since you said he was homesick. And boy, I am worried. Well, by the time Mrs. Foster gets back, we'll have everything fixed as good as new. Look at this. No, I mean lucky. He can't learn nothing if he is homesick. I can't learn nothing when I feel sick. Hmm. We should have explained to Jim how you got to treat Lucky, because he's a very particular dog. That's what I'm trying to do. Explain. Hiya, Chuck. Oh, hiya, Jim. Ah, yeah, another letter from your babe, eh? Hey. Ah, uh, forget that much. I got better news for you. You're elected. Don't tell me my transfer came through. Yeah, this morning. Dynamite! <laughs> you're not kidding, are you? No. Now that you're a trainer, stand by and watch this. Sure, Chuck. I'm all eyes and ears. You know who it's from, don't you, Lucky? How many times do I have to tell you not to fool around with other trainers' dogs? I'm sorry, Chuck. Come here, Lucky. Now, Lucky's going to take this message back to Steve. Are these Easy. the same message callers they use in action? Yeah. Easy, boy. We're going to go to Steve now. This is the last straw. That much impossible. I'm going to have him rejected. Now, wait a minute, Chuck. It ain't the dog's fault this time. It's mine. I shouldn't have showed him the letter. <laughs> you mean he got bad news? No, I mean the letters from the kids who owned him. He sent them. I think that's very intelligent. Okay. If you think he's so blamed intelligent, I'll have him transfer to you tomorrow. And you can try training. How do you like that? I like it fine. Now, listen, Chuck. Don't get sore at me. But you see, I got a particular reason in seeing that this dog comes out a good soldier. Did I get it in the middle? Right smack. Gee, that's a good star, isn't it? Yeah, kind of pretty stars. And they're the finest I've seen in this block. That's what I say. Yeah. Now, come on. Time to go to bed. There. Say, Gramps, do you think Lucky's in the war yet? Maybe. And got the enemy's pants half torn off. <laughs> Gee, can't you just see him? Crawling up, springing on the enemy, driving him off? Yeah, well, now you calm down and go to sleep. Good night, kid. Say your prayers and go to sleep. Good night, Gramps. Now I lay me down to sleep. <laughs> Please, I, Tojo, Vicky Fatter, must be fixed. Hey, hey.
go right back before Gramps wakes up. So you stay quiet to me and Button get back from school. Oh, Lucky, why'd you do it? Hey, we haven't got time for that stuff. We gotta do something. Oh, Kip, we can't let them shoot him. Yeah, that's easy to say. But he's done something terrible against the United States Army. And while there's a war, too. That's awful. Oh, Lucky. You got to think of something, Button. You got to. Why can't you think of something for a change? All right. I will. How's that for painting on camouflage? Do you think we're doing the right thing? Are we going to go all over that again? The important thing now is that he's going to save his honor. But it can't be just any old country we sent him to. Of course not. It has to be England or Russia or China so that he can fight on our side. But suppose they recognize him and give him up for disorder. Look at him now. Nobody'd know him. Let's go. Okay. Come on, Lucky. But I guess you didn't hear me. No, ma'am. Is Mike Wendelin with your boy? Well, I don't rightly know, ma'am. I ain't seen him around lately. He's getting kind of late. Oh, she should have been home long ago. I'm a little worried. I... Uh, did your boy ever run away, Mr. Adams? No, ma'am. Kip's a good boy. Very good boy. Yes, I know. But sometimes they will run away, even well, the good ones. I guess you're right. Well, if they don't turn up pretty soon, I'll go up and have a look around the park. You know, the kids get to playing sometimes. Well, thank you, Mr. Adams. Don't you think it's about dark enough to sneak him on the freight train now? Almost, but not enough. How dark does it have to be? Oh, awful dark. There's no good crying, Mary. You call the police, we'll search the neighborhood. Come on, Mr. Adams. Operator. Operator, would you please get me the police? Those kids can't be this far south. We better turn back. Okay. Hi, Mr. Hamilton. Hi, Grant. Hello, Jim. No, sir. I came to see the kids. Then you'll have to help us find them. Find them? Why, what happened? They're gone. Run away. Ooh, I'm beginning to get it now. Lucky that dog ran away from the canine camp last night. That's it. That dog again. This is the first I've heard about a dog. The police ought to know this. All right, I'll call them. 
Goodbye, to Lucky. Yeah, I guess we better. Goodbye, Lucky. Goodbye, Lucky. Hey, you kids, get down from there. Now tell me, what were you after in the railroad yards? If you won't answer that, tell me this. Why is your dog all painted up? Now listen, can't you see we won't talk? Clean them good, kids, but leave some hair on them. Winter's coming. I don't want to worry the kids about what might happen, but as one soldier to another, do you think the army will take Lucky back? Well. Going A.W.O.L. is a serious offense. I hate to think what would happen to that boy if Lucky failed him. You know how kids are. Yeah. But you know how the army is. Yeah. They already had Lucky headed for a reject before he went over the hill. No. Yeah. You see, he was, he was so homesick for the kids, he didn't show up good. And they made things worse by running away. Just when I was getting ready to have him transferred to me. It's going to be tough, but I'm going to talk up harder for Lucky than I've ever talked before in my life. I'm counting on you, Jim. Can't let those kids down. Hey, kids, ain't you about through prettying that dog up? <laughs> yes, Grant. <laughs> Look at him now. Isn't he beautiful? Yeah, he's a regular pinup dog. <laughs> Hey, what do you got there, kid? That's my lucky charm. He mine's good when I use it. Yeah? Do you think I can charm him with it, too? Sure. It'll work for you, too. That's right. Come on down. Sit down. You're right, it works. Hey, Lucky, maybe this is what's been missing, huh, kids? Yippee! Corporal, how's your AWOL friend coming along today? I'll leave it to the sergeant, sir. He's doing swell, sir. That's fine, men. We'll soon be needing all the dogs we can get. Hello. Howdy, Mrs. Foster. I didn't know you was coming. Didn't Mr. Stone tell you I was coming back today? No, ma'am. And I suppose you have it my place ready for me. I'm afraid not. Mr. Stone shall hear about this. Thank you, driver. Uh, take my bags upstairs, please. Yes. Now remember, I want everything straightened up right away. Oh! What's happened? Well, I I don't know for sure, ma'am, but I'm afraid I've got an idea. We'll find out right away. Now, Kip, I called you up here because I want you to tell me the truth. 
Did you have that dog in here? Yes, Gramps. There, you see, I knew it. But, Mrs. Foster, you ought to be glad he was here because he saved your things. He did, ma'am, he did. Call this saving my things? From the burglars. He drove the burglars off. Are you telling the truth? It was at night, Gramps, when there was all that noise in the alley. It was burglars. Do you expect me to believe this? But it's so. I saw them and we saw the silver. We? I mean me. Was someone else here? No, Gramps. Only me. But it's the truth about the burglars. Truth? Mm -hmm. You've done hundreds of dollars worth of damage, you lying little brat. He's only seven years old, ma'am. You needn't say anything more to him. Run along, kid. From now on, it's between you and me, ma'am. Well, you and your kid finally did it. I warned you to get rid of that dog, but no, you wouldn't listen. Now Mrs. Foster's taking it out on me. I told her I'd pay her back. It'll take you 20 years. Yep, Adam. That's told me about you taking all the blame from Mrs. Foster. What's the big idea? We're partners, aren't we? Don't we go half and half on Lucky and Jim and everything? But I... I... Oh, Kip. Yeah. Yeah. Now hold on, Jim. I'll let the kids talk to you. Hey, Jim. Hello, Jim. Hello, Button. Kip. Lucky made it. He's wonderful. Listen, we're shoving off. Where to, Jim? On a boat? I can't tell you exactly how or where. But it won't be on a boat, and it won't be on a train. You mean fly? Well, it's a little too far to swim. It's a secret. I got secrets, too, you know. Oh, Jim, I wish I was going with you. You kids better stay where you are. We'll be thinking of you. I gotta go now, but wait a minute. There's someone here who wants to say goodbye to you. Goodbye, Jim. Goodbye, Lucky. Goodbye, Jim and Lucky. Goodbye, kids. Don't worry, Lucky and me be all right. Oh, Gramps, they're going to the war. Yeah, we've got somebody over there fighting, and so we want to help over here. Oh, that's wonderful of you. But you'll have to wait a few years before you can spare a pint of blood. If I gave a half pint and he gave a half pint, wouldn't that be about a pint? Yes, but we still couldn't get around the rule that you have to be over 18. Goodbye, children. <laughs> Take a look ahead. Make it fast. We've got to let them know what's cooking up at headquarters. Okay. I don't see a thing.
Okay. Gee, you're bleeding pretty bad. I better put on a tourniquet. We ain't got it. Back at the bait. Then get a runner, Tommy or somebody. Get word back to the base that we're pinned down here. How about sending Lucky? If anybody will get through, my dog will. Okay. Red on him. Big head. Having some work. Yeah, you better finish. Tell them we're on trail 62, pinned down with the wounded. It's getting pretty hot. What'll we do? Wait a minute. Guys are attacking force unknown. That's all. We need some plasma badly, sir. Well, then ask for it. Thanks, sir. Don't be lucky. You gotta go duck on the thing. I'll keep you covered. We're all dependent on you. Now go to Chuck. Go! I guess it is trouble. Yeah. Come on, Lucky, we're going to the Theo. Message, sir. Send relief to 62. Right. Get me general headquarters. Right, sir. Domino. Load that dog with plasma and send him back. There's GC, sir. Patrol reports attacking force. Trail 62. Strength unknown. Clock. Right. Go, boy. Go! Sergeant, get your men. Join Brown with the other relief group. Come on, man.
are we doing? Not so good. Just hold him on. Any sign of your dog? No, not yet, but he'll come. If he's still alive. You sure have faith in your dogs? Yeah. Ever since he was a pup, belonged to a couple of kids I know. Better take care of them. Are they here yet? Who? Isn't this where Kip Adams and Gwenny Hamilton live? Yeah, they live here. Kip's my grandson. What's he been doing? What do you know about that, Maxie? Get a couple of shots of him before the mob gets here. Now, don't be nervous. I ain't nervous, but what in tarnation are you doing? Well, haven't you heard about the kid's dog? What? They'll be here any minute. The dog's a hero. You'll be famous. Get one, Maxie. The old guy's a natural. Say, wait till I get the kids, will you? They're the ones you want the pictures of. 
Now hold it quiet, please. Will you step in just a little bit? Folks, please don't crowd in so closely. Let them get a good picture. Now come on, smile, children. Big, come on. Big smile. Hold That's it, please. It. Right. What happened? Our Norman's kid's dog. Well, what about him? He's a hero. Now hold it. Well, Lucky, how does it feel to be home? My sentiments exactly. Now, everybody still for another picture, please. Stay with him. Now, smile. Come on, a big, big smile. That's it. Get up on the table. Look who's here. It's Jim. Jim. Hiya, 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 Jim. You're from a newspaper, aren't you? Do you know that dog saved my valuable silver? I'm so proud. Would you like my name? Mrs. Foster. Mrs. R.T. Foster. Looks as if we've got another old soldier in the family. <laughs> yeah. I want to tell you about something that Lucky and me have discussed many times. It's about Strawberry Point, the farm, and Lucky's future. You know, he's a war veteran now. We've got to take care of him, don't we? We sure do, and we will. We'll take wonderful care of him. Lucky and I have decided both of us are going to go to the farm. You will never see him anymore? Oh, we discussed that, too. There's no reason why you and Gramps can't go also. There's lots of work on the farm. Well, what do you say, Kip? Is it a deal? Well... Tell him about a farm, Gramps. Go ahead. It's wonderful. By golly, it is. How about it, Kip? It's a deal. Dynamite. It's a deal, Grant. Will you please excuse us for a moment? Secrets again, huh? Well, I shouldn't be giving you this back the way you've been holding those secrets out on me, but yeah. Jim, come here a minute. I didn't want to talk straight out in front of Kip, but I don't think Look, I can... Look, Gramps, let's analyze this. What do I know about farming? All I know is what I got out of the New York Public Library. But you're young. You're learning the best way, from experience. That's just my point. Don't you count your experience for nothing? There's a lot of difference between theory and practice. We need you, Gramps. Kip, Lucky, and I, we really need you. Well, if you put it that way, I guess you're right. It's a deal. Strawberry point, here we come. <laughs> I know. I know you're going to forget all about me. You and Lucky. Hear that, Lucky? Hear what she said? How would you like it if Lucky or I said you'd forget about us? We're still partners, aren't we? We? Yes. We partners stick together, don't we? Yes. Well? But you'll be so far away. Nothing's far away no more, is it, Lucky? All right, I'll come and visit you. And maybe spend summers, all summer long, with Gramps and Jim and Lucky and me. And when we grow up, we can be together all the time. Promise, Kip, cross your heart. Cross my heart. When we grow up, we can be together all the time and have lots of dogs. Lots of them. You bet. Oh, Lucky, you'll always be first. Honest, Lucky, always honest.